Ever since Elon Musk's tweet yesterday, the entire crypto market is on fire and there's a potential Bitcoin and cryptocurrency short squeeze, which is underway. I have some really incredible news that I need to share with you. So make sure you all stay tuned for the entire video. What's up everyone my name is miles and every single day i make videos on dogecoin i keep you guys updated with the latest and greatest news so you don't have to be constantly watching your phone you don't have to constantly be worrying about what's going to be happening i do all of that for you and i keep you guys informed with videos through my technical analysis and watching the charts all day long so if you want to learn how to make a lot of money in cryptocurrencies subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss these time sensitive videos and also give this video a thumbs up if you love dogecoin if you are a crypto supporter let's see how much support we have for dogecoin Point and cryptocurrencies and let me know in the comments below is the bull run back or is it going to be some more time before the bull run starts again i'm also giving away 200 doge to one lucky winner all you have to do is like this video subscribe to the channel follow my instagram and twitter and i will be giving away 200 doge to one lucky winner this saturday and if you want to get my daily trade alerts when I'm buying and selling cryptocurrencies that can help to build your portfolio, teach you technical analysis, and you can join the 4,000 member Discord, join the Patreon, which is linked in the description below. Elon Musk's tweet yesterday sent the crypto market on fire, and it has only gone up since then. Cryptos, altcoins, Dogecoin, Bitcoin are breaking levels of resistance. And remember, I was telling you guys that this is all false fear. This is all fake news trying to bring Bitcoin down. People were saying Bitcoin is going down to 17,000. Bitcoin is going to 10,000. Dogecoin is going to 5 cents. And I was telling you guys that that is not going to happen. And look, here we are. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is only just my opinion. So do your own due diligence and research when coming into investing. So here is the tweet that sent the entire crypto market by storm. And I'm going to dissect it with you right now very quickly because we also talked about it last night in my live stream so here we have coin telegraph showing elon musk that people are attacking him and accusing him of market manipulation and that tesla selling their bitcoin this and that is causing this huge sell-off personally elon musk tweet did cause the entire crypto market to crash but a lot of whales a lot of market manipulations and governments used his tweet to cause it to go down even further Personally, I believe the market has bottomed out and we're not going to go any lower than the lower points that we previously had, as is shown in the charts that I've been showing you guys, that the lows continually get higher, which is a very bullish sign. And I have shown this and proved this to you guys the last couple of weeks, despite the market being down and trading sideways. So here's a tweet that sent the entire crypto market on fire. This is says, uh, this is inaccurate. Tesla only sold less than 10% of holdings to confirm Bitcoin could be liquidated easily without moving the market. And then he said, when there's confirmation of reasonable less than 50% clean energy usage by miners with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions. So this is the tweet. And why is this huge? It's because Tesla came out and said that they're no longer going to be accepting Bitcoin for the time being until miners can become more energy efficient. So this has caused a lot of concerns around the entire world and it's caused a lot of fear and a lot of whales and governments and people are coming out with these false news, these fake articles to come out and say Bitcoin is not good, that Bitcoin is a scam, coming up with all of these fake news and all these false fears to bring Bitcoin and these cryptocurrencies down so that they can buy them. The same people that are causing all of this false news and these fake news to come out are the same people that are actually buying and accumulating Bitcoin in these cryptocurrencies. And if you know anything about Bitcoin mining, a lot of the miners, they are in mining pools. They come together, they have, you know, groups and associations and they're actually very energy efficient and they've been energy efficient way before Tesla and Elon Musk came out with this statement saying that they're only going to accept it when it's energy efficient. And it's been energy efficient for a very long time, but they are banding together right now. They've been doing so, especially since the Tesla tweet, the Elon Musk tweet, to make it more energy efficient, which is going to allow Tesla to start accepting Bitcoin again. However, Tesla is not only going to be accepting Bitcoin, as Elon Musk tweet has pointed out previously, uh, should Tesla accept Bitcoin for transactions. So we think and are speculating in the Dogecoin community that Tesla is going to be announcing here very soon that Tesla is going to be accepting Dogecoin for payments and possibly Cardano and Ethereum as well. And let me show you a couple more charts about some data that is going to be proving that the crypto market is going to start going up here pretty soon. The first chart is the crypto fear and greed index. What we are seeing is that fear is now beginning to wane and lessen very fast and substantially. Today we are at a 28 and yesterday we were at extreme fear. So we finally moved into fear. 
we finally moved into fear from extreme fear for the first time in the last several weeks, which is a very good sign that the sentiment is now changing, that people are going to start accumulating and buying cryptocurrencies and they're going to start FOMOing in, which is going to cause a massive short squeeze to cryptocurrencies. Now, I previously mentioned in the video that cryptos and Bitcoin could potentially experiencing a short squeeze. And I think that this is happening because there were so many people that were shorting Bitcoin, believing that it's going to go down because of, oh, the death cross and Bitcoin is going to 17,000, this and that. So, so many people are shorting uh, Bitcoin, but now Bitcoin is starting to overcome those shorts. And now people are having to buy back in to cover what they were previously doing shorting Bitcoin. Now they're having to buy longs to cover up for their losses that they just got liquidated and lost in so much from shorting these cryptocurrencies like Dogecoin and Bitcoin. But also here's some very important information that you cannot miss. So what we are seeing is that all coins are starting to wane as far as Bitcoin dominance is concerned. And now Bitcoin is outperforming all of these altcoins. So the chart is now indicating that it is a Bitcoin month, that most likely Bitcoin is going to be outperforming these altcoins for a season in a period of time. This could go on for a matter of days, it can go on for weeks, or probably till the rest of the month or maybe the next couple of months. But this is not bad for Dogecoin, it's not bad for Ethereum and these other top 10, top 20 altcoins, because generally when Bitcoin is having, is has a uh, higher dominance than these altcoins, you'll see the altcoins, they'll still go up, they're just not going to perform as much as they were previously doing. So we are still in potentially the altcoin year and we're still in altcoin season. And as we are seeing in this chart right here, that this price movement is starting to significantly head down close to the altcoin season line. And if this does happen, Bitcoin is going to have the greater dominance and Bitcoin is most likely going to be the lead performer in the next few weeks, maybe a month, a couple of months or so. But this is definitely really good to see. Bitcoin, we had break this level of resistance, breaking 40,000. And right now it formed the inverse head and shoulders, which is playing out perfectly. So it could potentially, I'm thinking that Bitcoin could potentially break out to 45 to 46,000 just based on the measurement of this inverse head and shoulders. And the way to measure how high I think Bitcoin will break out is we measure the top of the head all the way to close to the neckline, which will bring us approximately to 46 to 47,000, somewhere in that range. I think conservatively, if Bitcoin can continue, continue to go up and there's a short squeeze up with cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, that Bitcoin can easily push up, especially maybe by Friday to 45 to 46,000. That's if we do continue. However, at any time we could go down, we could definitely go to 30,000. Uh, Dogecoin could head down to 20, to 20 cents. Any of these things are a possibility, but understanding technical analysis, looking at the charts, it can give you a more of a sense of probability a greater chance of understanding what could possibly happen. And looking at the Bitcoin dominance chart, we are seeing Bitcoin dominance. This is the four hour channel, uh, the four hour chart. And we are seeing Bitcoin dominance starting to head up, but there is a key level of resistance for this Bitcoin dominance, approximately 47. If Bitcoin dominance does surpass this and break this, it would show that we are in an uptrend with Bitcoin dominance and that the altcoins are gonna start waning as far as their performance compared to Bitcoin. Most importantly, I have shown you all that Dogecoin continues to be in a bullish movement despite being all the way down here. I was telling you guys that, well, look, we are recovered. I've been telling you guys this, that we are recovering and everyone else has been saying, no, we're going down, we're headed down. But I said, no, look, the lows are continually getting, getting higher, but the highs aren't necessarily getting higher, which is totally fine. Whenever you see the highs at a certain level of resistance, which the, pre, the, the current level of resistance is about 33 to 34 cents, whenever you see the resistance staying about the same and the, the lows getting higher, this is actually a very, very bullish sign that there's going to be a huge breakout in the relative short term. So currently what I'm looking out for with Dogecoin is I'm hoping that we can break this 34 cent level of resistance. If we can break 34 cents, then we're going to start heading closer to 36, 38, and eventually into the 40s, which could possibly happen maybe towards the end of this week, maybe this weekend. And that is if cryptocurrencies continue to pump and if there's good news continually coming out, maybe Elon Musk tweet can bring us into the 40s very quickly. So that's what I think is going to be happening. And if you guys want a really good platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, buy stocks like AMC, you can do options, ETFs, join using my Webull link in the description below. If you deposit $100, they're giving four free stocks worth up to $4,000, which you can immediately sell by cryptocurrencies, AMC, or just send it to your bank account. You don't even have to use the account. You can just get the free money. 
And if you wanna get my daily trade alerts when I'm buying and selling cryptocurrencies, you wanna to talk to me on the phone so we can help build your portfolio to get you set up before the market really takes off to increase your profitability. And if you wanna learn technical analysis, just join using my Patreon link in the description below. So that's gonna be all for the video. If you guys like the channel, if you guys like the video, subscribe, hit the like button, blow up the comment section. I will answer my comments and I will see you guys later tonight. I will be making another video.